Hey everybody, it's Charles from HumbleMechanic.com and today we're going to find out whether a catch can actually works on your car. About 3,000 miles ago, we installed a catch can on my wife's Tiguan. And over the last 3,000 miles, it's been a really good mix of short trip driving, highway driving around town, as well as a couple of extended road trips of 150 miles or more. So I think that's gonna capture a really good snapshot of the way most people drive. For those of you that may be wondering what the heck is a catch can, a catch can is basically just an oil separator. In this case, installing an aftermarket one, it gives that oil saturated air more time outside of the intake stream. So it allows it to travel, it allows it to cool, that lets the oil fall out and separate out of the air. That air is then rerouted back into the intake stream and then of course into the engine through the combustion process and back out the tailpipe. This engine from the factory has two oil separators, a coarse oil separator down in the bottom of the side of the engine as well as a fine oil separator that is also part of the PCV valve. While we won't know 100% for sure whether this will help with carbon buildup, whether it'll solve the carbon buildup problem, I think we'll be able to get a good idea of whether it does have any impact at all on the engine, and then we can kind of extrapolate it out from there. In a perfect world, I would love to do this testing and see does a catch can actually prevent carbon buildup on the backs of the intake valves. Unfortunately, that is a huge undertaking with so many variables that I think it would be nearly impossible to get a 100% accurate test. There are so many variables that play into this from fuel quality to driving conditions to driving style, wear on the engine over mileage, and on and on. But I do think we'll be able to get a good idea on whether or not it does something for our engine based on this 3,000 miles and how much gook is inside of that catch can. Of course, I'll be sure to link up the install video down in the description as well as up in the cards if you wanna check that out. All right, before we drain it, let's pull the dipstick and see how much is on the dipstick. You can already see there's some goo on the dipstick. Now, it's kinda of hard to tell based on the dipstick how much is in there. So let's go ahead and drain it and see how much we get out. If you don't have this drain valve, simply take these two bolts out and you can pull the catch can and the bracket right up. After pulling just a small sample, you can see we do have a bit of nasty goo in there. There's actually more in it than I expected. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the whole thing up and drain the rest of it that way. Now that we have our bracket loose, we can go ahead and just pull our catch can up and then drain it and see what we get out of it. Wow. That is a lot more than I expected. You can see how much is actually trapped in the catch can. Let's add our stuff we already drained out. So that's a little over a cup. Let's see just how much goop is inside of there. You could pretty much assume that this would have all went through the intake system rather than being caught by the catch can. Whether or not this is going to fix the carbon buildup problem, we still can't be 100% sure, but boy, all that going through the engine and through the intake system has got to make a difference in some way. All right, guys, so there we have it. Uh, I think the results speak for themselves. That is way more crud that came out of that catch can than I truly did expect, especially after only 3,000 miles. Now, that begs the question, will this solve the world's problem with direct injection? Well, I'm not prepared to say 100% yes, but I do think it says a lot about how much oil would be going through the engine most likely if we didn't have this catch can installed. And yes, after checking the oil level, it was a bit low. All that's left here is to go ahead and put the catch can back on, get everything buttoned back up, document when we did the check and the drain of our catch can and add that to our maintenance log. So what do you guys think? Is this a worthwhile thing to put on your car? Should manufacturers have it on the cars anyway? Will this solve the direct injection problem? So I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, mash that subscribe button. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.